Welcome to Volunteers Week. This is an annual national celebration of everything that volunteers do nationwide. And at Blue Cross, volunteers are integral to everything we do. We couldn't help as many pets as we're able to without your gift of time, skills and experience. At Blue Cross, we're bucking the trend. A number of charities in 2017 saw their volunteering hours reduce. Ours have remained steady and in fact we had a slight increase. 30% of the hours worked here are done by volunteers and we simply wouldn't be able to help as many pets without you. On behalf of Blue Cross, thank you for everything you do uh, to raise awareness, raise funds and help pets. Now I'm going to hand over to Libby from our volunteering development team. She's at Rolston and she's going to be talking to some of our volunteers who are doing incredible work there with the cats at the centre. Thanks Sally. Hi everyone. I'm here at Rolston Rehoming Centre in Staffordshire and the team here do a great job of looking after and rehoming horses and ponies. But today I'm here to find out a little bit more about a really exciting project that our volunteers run, the Cattery. The Cattery was opened in 2017 and it's part of our national rehoming network. It's a low cost and efficient way for Blue Cross to help cats in this area. The volunteers do a fantastic job of helping find new homes for the cats and kittens that come here. In a moment, I'm going to be talking to Lisa, but first I'm chatting to Sue. She's the volunteer coordinator here, and she's going to tell me a little bit more about the team and her role here. Hi, Sue. So you manage the volunteers at the Cattery, and it's a role you do yourself on a voluntary basis, isn't it? That's right, Libby. Yes, I joined in 2017 when the Cattery first opened, and my role is to recruit, train and coordinate the volunteers. It's really important for our Cattery that we have sufficient volunteers to make sure the cats are looked after really well. I also look after the cats myself, and I liaise with the public throughout our rehoming process. So it sounds like quite a responsible role. Have you been able to use skills and experience you've gained from your career? Yes, I have, Libby. I'm a qualified clinical psychologist. So I worked for many years in the NHS. So I'm quite used to dealing with difficult situations, such as when somebody brings in their cat for rehoming. Often people are very upset and it's really important to be able to give them some support and understanding. And lucky for us, you're a qualified animal behaviourist as well. Yes, I've got a Master's in Clinical Animal Behaviour, so my knowledge of cat behaviour is really useful in this role and it also helps me with training the volunteer team as well. So I know you have a fantastic team here, Sue. What impact do they have? Yes, we do, Libby, and they do a fabulous job. They're a really dedicated team of volunteers. They absolutely love cats and they do so much to help them. And it's through their dedication, really, that we've been able to offer this service in the area, which we weren't able to do before. We have around 20 volunteers and they all bring different skills and expertise to their work in the cattery. And we also have a network of home fosterers as well who look after our cats or kittens in their own homes. You mentioned home fostering. How does that work? Yes, our home fosterers are really important to us. We use our home fosterers for kittens and also for any cats that are finding life in the cattery really difficult. It, we find it really helps with the socialisation process. So, for example, we had a cat called Frank who initially came into our cattery, but he found it really stressful in our cattery environment. So he went to home fostering, his behaviour really improved, he became more confident and is much easier to rehome. What a lovely outcome for Frank. So what's it like being on site with so many horses and ponies around? So this is a really lovely site to have a cattery. We don't have any dogs housed here at Rolston, so it's really quiet for our cats. It's also really nice to have the horse team. So we've got other volunteers and paid team members who are always around to work with or chat to. So it's a really supportive environment. Oh, thanks so much, Sue. It's been great to meet you today. Thanks, Libby. Hi, Lisa. Thanks so much for joining the video today. So who is this? Well, we have here, we have Deanie, he's 10 years old and he's come in with his sister, and they're like bookends, um, and they've been rehomed because their elderly um, owner couldn't look after them anymore. So they've joined us. Oh, I can, he's so friendly. I can see why you'd like to volunteer here. He's really friendly, yeah. So can you explain a little bit more about how the cattery works? Well, basically we have um, five pens that can house two cats each. Um, we can also house families as well, so if we've got like queens that are expecting kittens, um, we can house them, but we do tend to have them fostered till they have their kittens. Um, so basically, it's all run on a volunteer basis, so we all take shifts to come in and clean, feed um, and cat cuddle. 
So what happens when cats come into the cattery? So basically when a cat's released to us, um, they go for a full medical checkup with the vet. And once we know they're healthy, they then go onto the rehoming website. It's up to us as volunteers to help them settle into the cattery um, and feel as comfortable as possible. The volunteers do all the feeding, the cleaning, the cat cuddling, the socialising, getting them ready for a new home. If we have any particular nervous cats, we do tend to spend more time with them. Um, but they soon come round and settle really well. So how long have you been volunteering here, Lisa? I've been volunteering now for coming up to six months. Um, for me, it's the best job in the world. Um, I work from home, so I can come up here in my lunch hour and just chill out and, and cat cuddle. And then when I've left here, all my stresses just go away. So it's beneficial to the volunteers as well. It's been so lovely to come here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And I really yeah. hope that Deanie gets a new home soon. I hope so too. So it's been wonderful to spend time here at the cattery today and see how the volunteers are helping cats. We simply couldn't help the number of pets we do at Blue Cross without our volunteer team members here and of course across the charity. We're always looking for more dedicated volunteers and there are lots of different locations where you can get involved. So a big thanks and a very happy Volunteers Week.